Looks like everything's coming up bright and white today. Your birthday, a new contract. How does it feel to be inked here long term? Yeah, it feels great to kind of put pen to paper and commit my, my future here. Um, since coming to Vancouver, I think it's been a match made in heaven. Everyone here is uh, welcoming you with open arms. They've helped me take my game to the next level, so I'm just hoping that uh, it all continues, keep working hard, and um, commit, you know, do everything I can to help this team win now and in the future. When did these kind of talks get going, and was it important to get it done before the season started? Yeah, um, I think it's always you want to get this stuff done as soon as you can so you can focus on the, on the team and winning games. So it was good that we got it done uh, right as preseason was uh, starting and uh, right before the season really started. So it's uh, good to not have to worry about it anymore and just focus on, on the games coming up. Does it feel like Vancouver is it's going to be your home now? It's going to be a place where you can put down some roots? How good does that feel? Yeah, it feels really good to be able to call Vancouver home for a long longer time. Um, Finally got a TV up in my apartment, so everything's everything's coming together now. So it's you know I'm really excited for the next uh, few years. Now it's your birthday today. Congratulations, Thank happy you. birthday! Uh, what will you be doing to uh, celebrate this occasion? Um, maybe go out to dinner, have a nice little meal. Uh, you know, not too much. It's preseason and everything, so I've got to take it a little easy. JJ, go ahead. Hey Brian, JJ here. How's it going? Uh, you know, since, since you're local now, uh, where are you going out to dinner? What's your your go-to spot? Uh, well, Parlor's been my favorite uh, pizza place so far, but I think, uh, I think I'm going to try White Oak tonight. See, uh, see how that one is. So you haven't joined the, uh, the sushi fad of the Pacific West Coast? No, I, I've been on the sushi. Fresh Sushi was this little place by my first apartment here. It's been my favorite place so far. So I do like the sushi, so it's been fun uh, ha trying all those spots. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things I think that contributed to me being, you know, really happy and just settling down really easily. Coming in, you know, I had the full support of the coaching staff, you know, the players welcomed me with open arms, and it's just been, um, ha the players on the field have allowed me to play my kind of game. I think we combine well together. We we feed off each other's energy and just free flowing. We know each other's movements. So it's been, uh, it's been really easy to play with these guys, and, you know, I'm just looking forward to the future with them. Um, yeah, you know, every year you just continue to try and build off of the, block, the things you did last year. Um, you know, I have the same goals that I had last year. I'm doing the same things to put myself in those positions, working as hard as I can to improve on the things I, you know, I set out to improve on. So it's just about building off of, you know, everything we achieved last year and trying to take it to another level. So what are those things that you're trying to improve on? Because uh, it seemed pretty good, uh, pretty effective out there. Yeah, I think there's, you know, areas in my game where I could be more efficient. Uh, whether it's you know still holding the ball up a little bit better, making more runs, um, creating shots for myself, uh, you know things like these that are you know kind of take your play to the next level, gets you to score more goals, and uh, so that's always the goal to score more goals, win more games, and it's just all about finding those little little aspects of the game to tweak and make better. Creating uh, goals for yourself, creating opportunities for yourself. I mean, you've been really effective at, at finishing those. What would it take? Um, you know, just, I think, working on those techniques, working on recognizing those moments where I can create a shot for myself, whether it's a touch to the side, whether I could work on beating players 1v1, uh, pass and go. Like, there's little moments all over the game where you can improve and find moments for yourself. And, uh, and I think if I'm able to improve in those, and it helps the team win, I can score more goals, and we all just keep moving forward as a team. What did you say? You getting a good birthday present? Uh, I think my dad was going to send me some socks. Uh, so I'm looking <laughs> forward to that. I'm running low on pairs, so sure, that, that'll be good. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate it. Thank you. Brian, what does it mean to you that the club goes in a long-term extension for you, like the confidence that they have in you? How does that make you feel that they went with a four-year with the option of five years? 
Yeah, it means a lot. Like I said, ever since coming in, I felt the, the full support of the, the front office, the coaching staff, and it means a lot to me that they would uh, trust me with the, you know, a long contract to commit my future here. So you know, I'm just really excited to be here long term and do whatever I can to help the team win. Has this been your best birthday present that you've received? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's up there as one of the best birthday presents, for sure. First phone call you made once you got this contract? Uh, well, I knew it was kind of coming in, in the woodwork, so you know, everyone, my close, my mom, my dad, my brother, my girlfriend, they've all kind of uh, been in, in, in the know with uh, what everything that was going on. So yeah, it's, it's great to get uh, pen to paper and make it official. Have they come, they've visited you uh, when you were in season. Are they excited to come back and, you know, kind of experience a little bit more of what you call home now? Yeah, my girlfriend's coming back when we get back from Columbus. And then uh, my dad's trying to find his first trip out here. So that'll be exciting for him to come and, and see the new city. You're going to bring us a suitcase full of socks. Yeah, socks. I might ha ask him to smuggle in some bagels too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Favorite bagel place in New York? In Hoboken, I uh, was, no, it was, um, not Hudson Hot Bagels. Bagels on the Hudson, that's what it was. Yeah, miss it. Have you had one here that's good enough? No. No, oh, okay. <laughs> Well, enjoy your birthday. Thanks. Thanks. How was your knee doing? Because you had a bit of a knee niggle when you came to camp. Yeah, it's good. Uh, just working every day to kind of make it uh, work on the prehab, the rehab, and everything. So it's fine. Just taking care of it as best I can. So as a Whitecaps leading goal scorer last season and the top striker, I'm wondering, are you being compensated as a top striker on this team and perhaps even in this league now? Yeah, you know, I'm very happy with the deal that we, we came to a, to agreement on. Um, I think it's, you know, it's appropriate. I think, um, yeah, you know, I'm happy with it. I'm glad that we were able to put pen to paper and make it official for four more years. And uh, I'm really just looking forward to the future.